What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video with the Roshank Redemption. In the last episode, we took on two rival battles and progressed to... Serenity City? I forget the name of this town already. Wow, classic me. Um, but in this episode, we're going to be taking on the Electric City, Electric-type gym leader in this city. So Let's talk to this guy and see if he has any tips. I have no idea what's going on. Ryder uses Electric-type Pokemon. Hint, use Ground-type attacks. That was not helpful at all. So, on the one hand, I think this is going to be a very difficult gym, simply because um, our team doesn't do great against electric types. But on the other hand, it's going to be nice for it to be a challenge. And I have no idea what to do right now. Okay. Oh, yeah. Power deactivated. Okay. What the heck? Um. Oh, is there nobody in here? Dang it. I- why does this- why doesn't he just block off the gym? I mean, honestly. Just block off the gym, it's not hard! Okay, okay, well we're not gonna be taking on the gym leader yet. Hopefully we'll get to that in this episode, but apparently- I think we have to enter that building at the top. I don't know what else we would do, I mean. We generate power for most of the region. Oh, power plant. There's obviously gonna be a problem here, right? Okay, new technology. Okay, is there- is the like, team steam in here or something? What the? Power plant strength in battle. That's weird. What the heck? Yeah, I don't really know what's going on, guys. But we're just going to go with it. <laughs> Scientist Cater? Houndour. Okay. Well, Zaheer is perfect to beat up these things uh, because he has Earthquake. So we're going to do that. And Zaheer is finally going to get his time to, sh time to shine in this gym, I think. Uh, because of Earthquake. Which is awesome. Oh, I do need to look up like uh, his level up, though. Because I don't want him to... Uh, Oh, I put the EXP share on Iroh, by the way. I don't want him to uh, learn a uh, good fighting type move and me not be able to teach it because of Rock Smash. But yeah, we should be able to 2-it this for ugly. Gosh, I can't, cannot get over how ugly that- What?! Jeez, I hear. <laughs> I know it's a bit of a reaction, but wow. And I cannot get o over how ugly Prugly is. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Um... Okay. Uh, I'm not really sure what we're g gonna do here. TM25! Glad I came. Oh, actually, what is that? That's not T-Bolt, is it? No, it's Thunder. Never mind, that's not that great. Wait, so where is the gym leader? What the heck? Okay. I've been training here for a while. I'm like totally confused on what's going on. I should really look up what to do before I like get into, get into a video. Alright, he only has one Pokemon though, and he's gonna die in like one hit. We might as well use Sludge Bomb, because if we kill the Prugly in one hit, we're going to kill a freaking Pikachu. Alright, just get it over with. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I wish he would leave someone in front of the gym that says, Oh, you should go here, because that's what you need to do to get the gym leader. And I'd be like, oh, okay, that makes sense. I'm going to go do that. Wow, I guess we do have to go here because there are a ton of trainers, so I don't see why else you would put trainers here. Scientist Trevor. Not too creative with the nicknames. Okay. We're just gonna keep using Zaheer because Zaheer is working out right now. Oh no, we maybe we can't use Zaheer here. I think we can two KO with a with a sludge bomb though, even though it's resisted. Alright, uh, yeah. Buffer by the sandstorm, whatever. Oh, uh, we might as well sword dance then. Because we're going to take two hits anyway, so... Oh, wait, this thing is a psychic type, huh? Oh, shoot. Alright, well, we're still plus one above it, so... On the bright side. And these after-turn effects are just going to be annoying as heck. Luckily, only last five turns, though. Sludge Bomb! Alright. Yeah, wow, okay. That's impressive. After a plus one cosmic power, jeez. Okay, but Zaheer does not do well against Claydol and Boltoy. No, we're not gonna switch. It can't really hit it with anything. Level 22? Wait, what level was that other one? I wasn't checking. <laughs> Maybe it was just like super low level. What the heck? Why is he thing level 22? Did he mean 42? Maybe. Yeah, I think that the other one must have been really low level too and I just didn't notice it. Wow. 
That's kind of confusing. Nine Tails! We're definitely gonna stay in and we're gonna earthquake the crap out of this thing. Although, actually, a Sludge Bomb will probably just kill, so we're just gonna go for that. Alright, yeah, Zahiri. Buffeted by the Sandstorm. After turn effects are so annoying. <laughs> I mean, like, stuff like Leftovers is really nice, but the animation is just really annoying, I guess. Alright. Zahir is doing work right now. It's too good. Iroh is getting some good experience too. Iroh needs the experience right now. We're always trying to improve technology to become more efficient. Then why the heck are you battling me? How is that going to help you? Okay, um, ooh. Okay, well apparently those were just like random unnecessary battles. So I am going to try and figure out what to do and I will cut back once I realize that. So I'll see you in a sec. Hey guys, I'm back, and it turns out that was just a glitch. The gym leader was supposed to appear here, but he didn't for whatever stupid reason, so... Anyway. Power's back on, now I can return to my gym. I'm Rainer, the gym leader of Serenity City, and now that the power's back on, I'll return to my gym. Thank you. Wow, his electrifier is just, like, hovering, not even walking. What a badass. <laughs> Alright, well, now it's finally time to take on the gym. Thank god. That whole fiasco was, like, kind of annoying. And that whole level 22 Baltar thing was weird too. But yeah, I had to like look up a walkthrough online and said, oh, just like enter and exit a bunch of times and eventually it'll show up. And I entered and exited like 10 times and eventually it showed up, so. The walkthrough was right at the very least. Uh, wait, let me check how my Pokemon are doing. They're doing okay. We'll probably go and heal up before the gym later. Alright, let's do this. Work electricity is dangerous. Yes, it is. I'm actually like, uh, as you guys, as I've talked about in previous videos, I'm catching up on uh, One Piece right now. Um, and I'm at the part where Luffy battles the uh, the uh, electric dude, whatever his name is, Enaru. Yeah. I won't, I won't get, go any more into that just in case some of you haven't read One Piece, because so, I don't want to spoil it. And if you haven't, you should read it, because it's pretty good. Or like watch the anime or whatever. Although I wouldn't really recommend the anime, because the anime is super slow. It's just like one chapter per like episode. And I can get through a chapter and like... In like two minutes, like if I read it, but if I watch the anime, then I'm getting through one chapter in like 20 minutes, which is way too much. But anyway, enough enough of my rambling about that. Lucio, this thing goes down in one hit. It should at least. All right, earthquake. Earthquake is such a violent move. <laughs> like, da -da 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 -da. all right, it's down. Alright, take care of that Lucio, no problem. Iroh is not getting levels at all. Like, it's growing super slowly. Well, I got news, I'm about to beat your gym, gym leader, jeez. I'm about to beat your leader. <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah, let's battle this guy now. Do we just have to battle a ton of trainers? Because if so, that's kind of boring. The gym puzzles aren't really very creative in this game. I feel like I always rag on this game, but it's really good. Dang it. He has five Pokemon! Perfect. Alright, we're just gonna Earthquake a ton. I mean, I, I don't see what else we're gonna do, like... Earthquake is obviously the best move here. I wonder if there's a move relearner in this game. That would be very nice. I'll see to find out where Brick Break is. Cause I need to teach it to... To Zaheer. Uh, we'll stay in. This thing goes down in one hit too. I'm I'm uh I'm pretty happy with where we are in the levels. I think we're at a good spot. Um, hopefully the gym leader doesn't pull like any crazy like like level like 58 level Pokemon. I don't know why 58, but like any crazy high level Pokemon out of his ass. That would be bad. I right, we're to level 42 finally. We got some. Uh, we got to level up. All right. Zeb Striker. Uh, this this should give us a nice speed EVs, which is awesome. And we outspent a Zeb Striker, which is awesome. That's awesome. I love saying awesome. Awesome. That strike is really cool, actually. Um, I haven't really used it that much, but it looks really cool. I like zebras. Zebras are cool. Alright, Jolteon. We're definitely gonna get outsped by that, but I don't really see what else we can use against it, so we're just gonna stay in! Right now, Toxic Croak and Milotic are just, like, overpowered as hell. Quick attack. Oh no, the dreaded quick attack. From the special attacker. I love Jolteon. Jolteon's one of my favorite evolutions. It has those crazy purple eyes in this game, which is interesting. Um, I don't know why it does, but... <laughs> Anyway, yeah. Um, if I had to use an evolution in this game, I would probably use Jolteon. But yeah. Alright, Minor Colossus and Apache Risu. Let's Earthquake again. Earthquake. 
Alright, this thing's down. Boom. Alright, that's Dugong's cry, I think. I was thinking there for a second, whose cry is that? I love identifying these Pokemon's cries. Para paralyzed. Paralyzed. That's what I was about to say. Thank god I stopped myself. Paralyzed. I'm gonna say that as like a joke from now on. Uh, shoot. Do we have to battle two? Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, no. We can avoid that guy. Good. I thought he was gonna snipe me from afar, but he didn't. Which is nice. Just gotta be careful about it. Alright, awesome. Uh, I don't think there's anything we can do about this. Yeah, okay. There's nothing we can do about that. Today you'll learn the strength of electric currents. Okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Scientist Mike would like to battle. Low punny. This thing probably dies to one or two slush bombs, I'm guessing. If not one, honestly, because the hero's just so powerful at this point. So here's actually like surprisingly strong. Jeez, yeah, wow, that's really impressive. I know it's a low punny, but still. I mean, sheesh. Jolteon, you know, we're actually gonna try Growlithe for this one. I think Growlithe can take it. We'll see though. Iroh hasn't really been doing too much lately, which kinda kinda saddens me. Um, because Iroh's a good Pokemon. Uh, Arcanine's awesome, but we just need to get an Arcanine, that's the issue. Thundershock, that's not gonna do crap. Hopefully not, at least. Oh, that did crap. That did a lot. Crit here would be nice. Crit, please. Oh, awesome. Wow, that was actually pretty pathetic damage for a crit, though. Alright, well, we're gonna kill it regardless here. Which is nice. Although, that, that thing really should have wrecked us, honestly. Um, because we got a crit, um, and it used a stupid move, so... That's a nice experience, though. And we got some speed EVs, which is awesome. We're gonna fight with 220 volts. That's cool. Alright. Oh, we have one more. Are you serious? Okay. Alright, I'm too lazy. I feel like I get so lazy when it comes to trainer battles. I'm ready to face any challenger. Sure you are. Sure. Okay. So I just Daniel wants to battle. Oh my gosh. Okay, this guy probably has the same Pokemon as the other trainer, so I'm just gonna cut this out. I'll see you in a sec. Alright, so Zaheer actually ran out of PP on Earthquake, but he literally just one-shotted everything with Sludge Bomb, which is ridiculous. Zaheer is just an all-out beast right now. Okay, uh, we're at the gym leader, so I'm gonna go heal up, and I'll see you guys in a sec. Alright, people, we are back. Um, I went and healed up, and we are ready to take on this gym fight. I'm actually gonna lead with Growlithe, though, because um, I want to save Toxicroak for later. Although, actually, Dano could potentially be a decent lead, but we're not gonna do that. Welcome to the Serenity City Gym, the gym of the City of Light. This gym specializes in electricity. As its leader, I will battle you. Alright, let's do this, Rainer. Ooh, he has an interesting outfit. He looks like he has a buck tooth, though. Jeez. Oh, wow, that's a high-leveled Ampharos. Okay, hopefully, Iroh can take it on. I actually don't think Iroh can, to be honest, just because Ampharos has good special defense. But It is slow as piss, though, so we can outspeed it at the very least. Ampharos is so slow. I don't understand why it's so slow. Ampharos is also a fan favorite. I mean, I'm not, like, particularly... I don't particularly like Ampharos, but, I, but it's cool. I mean, I definitely like it. It's not like, you know, like... One of my favorites, I should say. Like, you know, like, Swamp Bird or Chandelures. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna hit this thing, this thing with another flamethrower. Hopefully we can kill with- Oh, we can definitely kill the next one now. That's nice. Hopefully this doesn't bring it into Dark Red, though. Alright, good. Perfect. Oh, no, not perfect. Don't get Parahaxed, Rallis. It's okay if you get Paralyzed, but not Parahaxed here. Good, okay. Alright. We're good. We're good, people. Alright, Ampharos is down. That's one down, uh, four more to go? I didn't see how much Pokemon he had. We're gonna stay in against Manectric, actually. Yep, four more to go. Um, because I think we can take at least one hit. Uh, yeah, Odor Sleuth. That's not gonna do anything. And I'm not, like, a freaking ghost type, so that's really not gonna help you. This should be another 3 hit KO, probably. Maybe a 2 hit KO if we get lucky. Oh, solid! Oh, we're getting lucky with the burns, too. Iroh, you're doing work right now. Please don't let me eat my words. Oh wow, and it used a negative priority move, probably Roar, which is hilarious. Iroh's just too scary, man. Wow. I can't believe Iroh's doing so well. Zip Striker, we're gonna stay in. I think Iroh can take this thing on actually pretty well. Which is awesome. I mean, so far we're just getting lucky because this guy's been really stupid. That did a crap ton. Oh no. Iroh flinched. Okay. I take it back, Iroh. Um, well, I mean, that's only 
you know, one... That's just one flinch. I mean, I did well overall. Alright, I'm gonna sacrifice Lil Z here. Sorry, Lil Z here. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into, uh... I mean, Zaheer is the only person we can go into, really, so... So we have him sacrificing Zaheer and then bringing in Zaheer. This shouldn't do too much, I mean... Yeah, that's not bad. Oh, gosh, no. That could complicate this battle, actually. Although, I mean, he does only have one Pokemon left at this point, so... It's his Electabuzz. If Electabuzz is carrying Earthquake, then that's a huge problem, actually. Worst case, I think I, think I can revive Zaheer, um, and bring it back in and probably outspeed it. Oh, he has two, never mind. Please don't Earthquake. Light Screen, okay, I think an Earthquake will actually kill this thing. Yes, okay, good, we got it off. I was afraid we were gonna get paralyzed. Let's see if it kill, I think it will. Cause Elect Electivire's defense, physical defense, isn't particularly good. As we saw, there. Alright, good work Zaheer, you're doing well. Okay, let's see if we got one last Pokemon. Luxray! Ooh, we're gonna stay in! Yeah, I, I think I wanna stay in. Alright. Ah, oh, that Intimidate though. That will probably make this a 2-hit KO instead of a 1-hit KO. But nonetheless, I think we'll be able to kill this thing with Zaheer. Because he doesn't really have anything to hit us with. I mean, he has like electric type moves, which aren't really good for Luxray because it's a physical attacker. And he also has um, just like dark type moves like Crunch. I mean, Thunderbolt will do a decent amount, but there's no way it'll kill unless he crits. Oh, wow. Okay. It came closer than I thought. Alright, and that's the battle, folks. We got pretty lucky with Paralysis there. That was a really easy battle. I was actually really worried about that battle coming in, because our team does not match up well against electric types. Uh, two of our guys are weak, and we don't have any to hit it super effectively, but, you know, to have great power enough to... Yeah, okay. Alright, I didn't really read that, but... Congratulations, you beat me honorably. By doing so, you've obtained an energy badge. Sorry, that was like the worst accent imitation ever. I'm gonna stop with the accent imitations. I'm so bad at them. Alright, well, we now have Fly, and... We get another gift, TM24, which is awesome. Thunderbolt, I think that is. Yeah, that's really important because we really need uh, something with Thunderbolt to uh, take on water types. Um, but yeah, let me actually check to see who can learn Thunderbolt. Um, put it up TM, contain Thunderbolt, teach Thunderbolt to a Pokemon. Yeah, none of our Pokemon can learn it, okay. Alright, this pretty much actually confirms at this point that uh, the last team member I had in mind. I was actually having some second thoughts, because... Um, uh, I really wanted to use like Flygon or Garchomp to be honest, but we already have a Dragon type, uh, and like a Ground type would be nice, but we already have a Ground type move. So, anyways, guys, um, we actually need to go and get Fly, and I don't really know where to get that. So I'm gonna look that up, and I'll be back in a sec. All right, guys, we're back. I found out where Fly is, and I also found out that the move deleters here. So, oh, the door's locked. Wait, what? I'm trying the move deleters in the house nearest to the Pokemon Center. Oh, that's not the Pokemon Center. That's a gym. I'm an idiot. Uh, yes, the move deleter. We're gonna delete Rock Smash off of, uh, Toxic like, right now. Okay, um, yeah, we're gonna delete, yeah, definitely. Um, Rock Smash, yeah, get rid of Rock Smash. Da 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 Sorry, that was a terrible imitation. <laughs> Alright, um, and what else do I want to, to remove? Let's see. Uh, nothing on Growlithe. Milotic is fine, Zaheer is fine now, obviously. Um, and Dano is fine too. Uh, yeah, okay, we're good, we're good. Okay, and now all that's left is to get the, uh, is to get Fly. Um, which I think isn't, I think it's, uh, the guy I, uh, I looked up said that it was in the hotel or something? I don't know. Serenity City Hotel? I, I really do not remember, actually. It's somewhere around here, though, it's in one of these houses, some cool trainer. Yeah, I think it's the one over here. I want to say... Nope, it's not here. Oh man, I already forgot. Okay. I suppose I could look it up again, but... I mean... Oh, wait, I think it, I think it's here, actually. Yeah, here we go. Fly from City Series, need a Pokemon Fly, obtain the HMO2! I really wish he hadn't put it up here, because it's kind of like in the middle of nowhere. But, you know, whatever. Alright, guys, um... So we actually have some business to take care of. I think it's about time we added our final team member. So I'm going to teach Fly to uh, Tenzin uh, and look up some things. I'll be back in a sec. Sorry for all the cutting. 
All right, guys, we are back, um, and we're actually in Esmeralda City. You guys are probably wondering, like, what the heck I'm doing here. But if we talk to this guy, then we can actually get something. Do you have six Pokemon in your party? Oh, wait, no. I meant to say no. No, I do not. Obtained the Eevee Egg. This Eevee will be very useful when it hatches, and Eevee will be helpful in your journey across the Zero region. Yeah, so I know it's a little odd for me to be getting this now and to be deciding to use uh, an Eevee Lucian now. Um, but I thought about it and I realized that we really need an electric type uh, and the best choice was Jolteon So we are actually gonna be using Jolteon as the last team member. Um, but first this egg needs to hatch so um, But yeah, uh, I think Jolteon would definitely be a good addition to this team And we can finally make use of that Thunderbolt TM because without it we couldn't really so Anyways guys, I think that's a pretty good point to end off the video. Um, as usual, thanks for watching Please feel free to like comment rate and subscribe. Um, the comment question of the day is What is your favorite? baby Pokemon. Like, uh, by baby Pokemon, I mean, like, you know, like, um, like, uh, Elekid and, like, you know, Pichu and, like, stuff like that. Um, if I had to choose, it would probably be Pichu. I mean, I'm not actually a huge fan of baby Pokemon myself, but Pichu's pretty cool. Anyways, guys, thanks, and I'll see you in the next episode of Pokemon Light Platinum.